often the diagnosis of testicular cancer is either made or suspected by your primary care physician or a urologist if you get referred to a urologist. In general, you undergo an evaluation because there is a suspicion that you may have testicular cancer. And this usually involves some sort of pathology related to the testicle. You may have a mass there, that's the most common presenting uh, symptom, but uh, in general you'll usually, usually get referred to a urologist. The evaluation will then involve a, an examination um, and documentation of your history, family history, medical history. We will ask questions like, have, have you ever had a history of an undescended testicle? Do you have any family members with testicular cancer? We'll then perform an examination to examine the testicles to see if there's any firm masses. We also want to rule out other possible etiologies, things that could be representative of benign conditions. So we generally perform an examination, but we're looking for a firm area within the testicle that would be indicative of a possible cancer. In some cases, when the diagnosis is uncertain, then we may actually get imaging tests, such as a scrotal ultrasound, to look for masses within the testicle. We will also obtain a series of lab tests, and these are called tumor markers. And there's three specific tumor markers we check for with testicular cancer. One called LDH, or lactate dehydrogenase. One called beta HCG, human chorionic gonadotropin. This is the same uh, hormone that we test for for pregnancy tests. And then another uh, hormone called AFP, or alpha fetoprotein. These are all called to uh, testicular tumor markers. When they're elevated, it can signify the presence of testicular cancers. And we can also look at these tumor markers to help determine the various possible types of testicular cancer that may be involved. But essentially, everybody with suspicious testicular cancer will get tumor markers, possibly imaging tests. And if, if, uh, if we want to uh, further evaluate for staging of testicular cancer, we want to see it we want, if we know someone has the cancer and we want to see how extensive it is, then we will often get imaging of the abdominal area or the chest or various other parts of the body to see if there's any spread of cancer. The ultimate diagnosis of testicular cancer has to be based on a tissue diagnosis. And uh, that means we have to have some tissue to, uh, to evaluate to see if there is truly cancer in the testicle. The way we obtain that tissue is by removing the testicle. We do a procedure called a radical inguinal orchiectomy whereby the testis is removed. It gets sent to a pathologist for them to examine it uh, and evaluate what, what type of cancer it is uh, and also what we call the staging of the cancer itself.